Welcome back to Zamajack. We're going to try out some Commando Hell on Earth Burning Paris. Because why not? I do like the, uh, the dot for Commando, so we'll put that back on. I enjoy it. It helps me a little bit, at least. So I tend to tap fire. And, uh, it just helps a little bit, you know? I'm thinking I should probably go for the uh, ammo capacity and then um, just reload cancel instead. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I think I'm going to change it for a uh, set of tactical reload. We're going to go for magazine capacity. I do like the tenacious a little bit uh, and the hollow point rounds I think is going to be better. But we're going to go for the tactical reloads and then just reload cancel on uh, this guy instead. So that we just reload less frequently. They're a little bit slower, but not super slow because we have the uh, the reload canceling as well at our disposal. Gonna have to get used to the reload canceling on this though, because it's a little bit of a finicky thing, reload canceling. But ultimately, uh, I think it's good. It's not going to help us at all this time, because I don't think I'm going to have... Well, I guess we'll go for ammunition before we buy the uh, the grenades. I do like the M203 and the uh, HM Tech 501. As I've explained before. Actually, I don't think I did, because I think we died and then I gave up and threw it away. But I like the, M the M203 and the HM Tech 501. Honestly, my favorite part about them is the impact damage you can do with the grenades. Because they do a lot of damage. Like, you can throw, you can toss the HM Tech 501 grenade at something's face and behead it. And to me, that's pretty sick, okay? Let's see how long it takes to reload. It's not bad. Without reload cancelling. Doesn't really change anything. These guys go up pretty quickly with uh, a shot to the face and then um, some more shots to the face. Moral of the story is shoot him in the face and then uh, shoot him in the face some more. Oh my god, why am I not able to reload? We're dead! Wow, that was just horrible. Horrible, horrible performance on my part. I don't know what went wrong. I feel like I reloaded that gun like three times. We're doing that again. We're, we're just we're just hopping right back into it. Pretending that never happened, alright? Just a practice round. Just a practice round. Don't worry about it. Alright, we're going to try it again. This time, I'm going to be a little bit better though. Maybe. Possibly not. I mean, you never know. Okay. I don't like any of this that's going on. Why did I turn off the thing? I thought I couldn't see it, but it was there. Okay, you're going to want this, because we got to get... Uh, it's, not a, it's not a fully automatic. It's just semi-automatic, so I don't like it. There we go. That's that's what I want to see. I want I want fire at real time on commando, you know? What perk do I have for this? The time tactician, yeah. The other one's useless. You fire a little bit faster. I guess that's kind of real time, probably even faster than real time. But you don't know, like what's the other one? Tactician gives you um reloading twice like uh, at normal speed, which is probably more beneficial. So I find myself reloading. Although if I'm using the higher mags and I just keep it, and you can't really reliably keep it stocked though, right? Because you don't know when it's going to happen. You want to use up. You don't want to be reloading too much because it takes time, right? It's 
Especially if you are using the Big Macs, you want to make sure that you're actually using them up, so... Otherwise, it's useless to take it, right? If you're reloading it 20 every time, I mean... I have a Discord message to respond to. Somebody's trying to recruit people for the D&D group I'm in. Some dude I've never even heard about. Yeah, it's this one guy that you've never, ever heard about. He's willing to join. I, I know. It's good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I don't mind playing with random people, but when you already have a group, it just, to me, it doesn't feel right to, to bring other people in that, that like, people aren't in the know about. Oh, you stupid stalker. You stupid crawlers. Uh, I think my music's down. Nope, just haven't picked the next song yet, I guess. Feels like it's been picking the next song for a while now, though, so, uh... You know. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. I don't like playing with random people. Like, that's how some of my best friends met, just by being random people, right? Like, that's fine. I mean, I guess everybody was a random person at one point in time, right? Like, that's, that's how it works. You don't know your friends before you know them, right? Um, but, when when you already have it, I've uh, had bad experiences with uh, introducing new people to an existing campaign that are random, because it's hard to tell if they're going to fit in, right? And then oftentimes they do, and oftentimes they don't, but it's, it's really like a 50-50 split. So... I just, I prefer not to do it, because the thing is, you end up with one person who's making it less fun for the rest of the group, which is bad for the rest of the group, and then the rest of the group isn't enjoying it, so they're not trying to include them in stuff that they're doing, which is bad for, for that one person too, right? Like, nobody's, nobody is winning on this. It's just, it's all around a bad scenario. So, when I already have a group that's going, I like to just find friends of friends and stuff like that who might be interested in joining, but, like, never, oh yeah, this is 5,000, or 2,000, not, uh, uh, so we'll get some armor as well while we're at it and fill that up. It is a good gun, though, the HM Tech 501, it's super strong. It's very powerful. I end up using this more because you have that, uh, that, like, clearing ability to just yeet it into a pack of Zeds and then just say bye-bye. You know, but it is also very useful for flesh pounds and stuff like that. Scrakes as well. It does a, a sizable amount of damage to them if you get a headshot. Which is fantastic. Yeah, like right there is a good little moment for a grenade. Oh, I didn't have grenade loaded. Shoot. You can one-shot the bloats with the nades if you get, uh... Actually, I don't think you have to get a headshot. I think just any shot will one-shot them. Yeah. It's not super recommended to waste your grenades on bloats, but... I mean, if you need to extend the Z time, that's what you got? I mean, toss a nade at it, right? It's really for these guys, though. That's why, yeah, that's why you... That's why you got it, right? Oh, you... Stupid siren. Just nade you. Get this restocked, refilled. You as well are going to be going down pretty easily with this. 
does a lot of impact damage, is the thing. So it's, it's very, very powerful. Which is nice, because that's, that's what Commando's kind of missing, is that, uh, that burst high damage just for the, the quarter pounds, really. You just have consistent damage output. Uh, not really good for that high damage one shot, one kill kind of thing. I think it's two of these to the head, plus a few shots for the uh, the scrakes. One of these to the face and a couple shots for quarter pounds, and I think just two shots to the face for flesh pounds in general will take him out. So, it, it, it handles the, uh, in solo anyway, it handles most of the Zeds pretty fine, which is nice. Uh, running with the HM Tech 501 is of course fantastic because you get to have healing grenades, which help so much. Um, they help you create choke points and stuff, which is always nice. And uh, they help you heal when you need it as well, which is also fantastic. They also do quite a sizable amount of damage if uh, you get the right headshots on them. Where you at? I hear them? Yeah, right there. Didn't get the headshot. I wasn't really going for the headshot, though. Oh. Bugger. Okay, we're gonna have to get a headshot on this guy and then take him out real quick. Just like that. Nice and easy. Do we have a uh, do we have a bullet in it? No. Get a bullet, please. Bullet or grenade? Give me a give me a grenade. Let's try to extend this one as long as we can. Get uh, as much stuff coming close to us as we can. Just think it'll be generally pretty useful. Uh, it doesn't one shot those guys though, which kind of stinks. Even if you do get a chest shot, it's not quite enough damage to take them out. I'm not sure why, because as far as I know, the raw damage should be enough to one-shot them in the chest, but I guess since it's not piercing or whatever, and the, the explosion damage isn't enough to take them out. These guys are pretty good for these nades, because um, they die really quick. It's wonderful. Yeah, this, this thing does quite a bit of damage to... I'm not sure why, but quite accurate, quite a bit of damage. Very nice gun. Give me my nades to get a nade off here. Another nade off there. Extending on uh, flesh pounds, no problemo. With their weakness to, uh, to this stuff, it's pretty good, but... Ultimately, I'm bad. I do like this setup, though. I do really like this setup. It's a nice setup. As long as I don't get yeeted by a stalker, and as long as I don't miss a shot, which I really did a couple there, so. And that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.